You guys, I'm in Paris at the biggest Sephora in the world. Let's go in. Look at this shit. It's like a freaking mall in here. So Dior has its own perfume section. Guys, look at how far back this goes. We have a Sephora advent calendar. I am so overwhelmed. <laughs> even get to check yourself out okay I got the goods let me know if you guys want a hole For a haul first, got this grape spray. Ooh, my 12 year old sister told me I need this, so I got it. She also told me I needed this deodorant, so of course we got it. Try it out. I had to get another one, my favorite lip balm. I also needed a restock of the Summer Fridays sunscreen. Mine is almost gone. Bought my sisters a lot of stuff from Sephora. You guys are gonna diet how long this receipt is. This is our Sephora receipt. Yeah. Gave some of my sisters an unlimited Sephora budget and they went off. I just got my hair done and she used this. I wanted to try a few of the Dr. Dennis. Kind of random, but I got a dry brush. Here's the dry brush. It's so cute. It's pink. The restock product. Polish Choice is almost out. Ronde Lash. I wanted this so bad. So when I... Oh my gosh, I just almost broke my nail. It's the Mario blush, but in this like really hot pink color. <gasps> got this summer fries oil look how cool that looks i love all of their products so bye guys get ready with me to run to all the sephora's in my city until we get the new sol de janeiro body butter sephora across the street from me opens in literally 15 minutes so i have to finish this makeup and then put on an outfit and then literally run across the street and be the first person because i already know how fast this is gonna sell out Someone let me know why there's literally five people waiting outside the Sephora right now and they literally don't open for another like 12 minutes and there's already a line. So at this point, I don't even care what my makeup looks like. If this one doesn't have it, we need to book it to the next Sephora. The second closest Sephora to me is always literally the busiest. Like you guys, there's always a line. Even like on a random Monday at like, I don't even know, 11 a.m. I do have a feeling that they are gonna be the ones that will definitely have it because they're always stocked. So we are not walking there. We are running to the next Sephora if we don't find it at the first. Obviously, I'm going to bring you guys with me. I mean, we always need to go on our Sephora adventures together. I'll a little bit of a setting spray. I hate when this happens. Oh my god, and then you like can't get it off because it's like wet and then it's going to smear everywhere. I Honestly, I just looked at my window and there's literally 20 people lined up. And we, Sephora literally opens up in two minutes. So I'm going, I'm literally going to go with this thing on my face. I don't care. We're not even doing any lip products. I will see you guys on Sephora. Bye. Hey guys, I have a Sephora haul. I literally just got home from writing my last midterm and this was at my door. I'm so excited about this one. Okay, first things first. I love Glow Recipe, and they came out with this new toner, it's the Cloudberry Toner. Look how pretty it is! 
it has tons of vitamin c in it and it's supposed to like smooth your skin and brighten it and i feel like that's what we need in like this crusty winter weather i want to test it out oh my god it smells so good and is their packaging not so pretty always i swear i'm so easily influenced anyways the next thing i got is a mini drunk elephant moisturizer i leave for florida in two days and i can't bring this in my carry-on because it's too big so i got one of like, the little baby ones to take with me on my trip so cute this is like my favorite daytime moisturizer i love how it looks under makeup hopefully this little guy will last me the two weeks i'm there well, last but not least i ran out of niacinamide from the ordinary so i got a new one i love their niacinamide their hyaluronic acid and the salicylic acid they're all so good and their stuff is so affordable anyways that's the haul let me know if you guys have tried this and if you like it and i will post an update soon love you guys bye don't fucking buy this don't everything you should waste your money on and should not waste your money on because i've been wasting all my money at sephora last week i spent way too much money but i'm helping you okay patrick taw waste your money waste your money it's worth it it's worth it it's not a, it's not even a waste okay this one is a little contour brush doop doop i'm not doing my makeup right now sorry i'm just gonna be ugly okay i don't really know what this fluffy side is for but i'm sure there's like a torture tutorial okay anyways go buy this it's worth it go buy this don't like it's back in here because i need to go return it like i'm sorry charlotte tilbury i love you but this highlighter stick a waste of money there that's air it's all air when I went to go use it it was I was like just pr I could hear like it's just air air don't waste your money I have to go return it I just got her love her for foundation mmm it goes on so nicely it is worth the money go get her I'm obsessed I love a good eyebrow okay like I do nothing to my eyebrows which <laughs> you can tell um, but I do brush them up even though they're not brushed right now and I love this because it also has these brushes do, 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 do. and it has the gel it's worth the money I personally really like it I have thick eyebrows and I feel like it does a trick even though you can't tell right now I'm obsessed I love this I've been using just honestly the elf primer really like it I suggest it I like that it rolls I suggest you waste your money on this too. I'm not really helping any of you save money. <laughs> I love this. This is very expensive, but I love it. It feels so good. It smells good too. It's the uh, vitamin enriched face base. It's so good. I usually will use this first and then the refi. I don't know. My makeup goes on so good now. I love it. Okay, the last thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna make you guys spend money. I'm so sorry because honestly, I love everything except for the Charlotte Tilbury. Say, it's like a creamy bronzer. It's amazing. It is my new contour, even though I'm gonna have to get another contour because this is more bronzy, but I love it. I love it. This Sephora worker literally made me feel so insecure. Basically, I went in there because it was the last day of the Sephora sale and I wanted to like, pick up things that I've been eyeing for a while. One of the things that I have been eyeing is the Drunk Elephant sunscreen. Some days I go into Sephora wanting to be talked to, but today was not one of those days. I was not trying to spend more money. I was just like testing it. So this worker just approaches me. Before I get more into the story, I love my Sephora workers. They're so sweet to me. Basically, she comes up to me and she's like, oh, like that sunscreen's not that good. Like try the Paula's Choice sunscreen. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I tried the Paula's Choice sunscreen. I'm like, oh, look, this is pretty good. Like thanks for showing me it. Like bye. Like, then she sees a glow recipe dewdrops in my basket and she's like, oh, the recipe isn't that good. Like it has fragrance. She goes, especially because you have clogged pores here and like I can see a breakout on your skin she's like oh like i see that you have clogged pores like let me show you the skin fix set that you should be using to like get rid of them and at this point i'm like shit like you might as well like i'm already self-conscious like i'm insecure now like, she shows me the skin fix set i understand that she was trying to be helpful but it just made me feel insecure i honestly love going to sephora because i feel like beauty is like fun personally i use makeup and like skincare as just like some like a fun hobby self-expressing through i wonder if anybody else had like similar experiences where a sephora worker had good intentions but like it made you feel more insecure because girl you're not alone Okay, I kind of went crazy today for Black Friday. Literally, none of this on Sephora was on sale or anything. It was just my excuse to spend money. So it deserves a haul. Okay, first up, I got the Patrick Ta Contour. And she's bronze. It's like a warm medium. So let's open her up. I am in love with the packaging. Obviously, I've already like opened it and everything. But that one is so pretty i have been in need for a contour that actually matches me and i think 
that one's pretty good. And I was going to get, like, the double-ended, like, brush, because I have no brushes that, like, would work for this. But they were all sold out. But that was the first thing from Patrick Ta. Okay, I got another Patrick Ta blush, just because they're so good. And I have the one that's, like, she's vibrant. I think it's, like, the coral. But that one is so freaking pigmented. I'm, like, scared to use it. So I got, like, a more natural shade, and it's the She's Blushed. And I think that would be so pretty. Right now I have on the vibrant one, but I think this one would be so pretty. And I know they're a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, I think that they're so worth it. Like, these are going to last me probably until the end of college. I mean, when you think about it, you only use, like, a little bit. Like, barely even put my brush in there. And it still looks like too much on my face. So that'll last a long time. Okay, third thing. I have been looking for the Say Super Glowy Gel and the Sun Glow for literally a year. So this is, and honestly, this is such a good price. I think it's like $28. But like, look how much you get. All of this. And in my opinion, I like these so much more than the L'Oreal ones and like the Drunk Elephant ones. I have the L'Oreal, but I never wanted to buy the Drunk Elephant ones. They just look patchy. And the L'Oreal peel and this one is like literally like a moisturizer like I put it on the back of my hand and it's not like super dark because I don't like self tanning my face oh okay <laughs> okay my light died but I'm back and the next thing I got was the faded brightening and clearing serum I've used this before I had it in like a little PR like a long time ago and this stuff I hope it works really good my skin has finally started to like settle down but I do have like a little bit of scarring just like right here that's like really thin skin that's easily scarred so i'm gonna try this on it because this seems like the cheapest option and it works really good so i got this and it was on sale this was the only thing that i got that was on sale okay last thing that i got was the huda beauty easy bake like the setting powder and like the loose powder and they finally had it in the cherry blossom shade that i've been looking for literally for like so long but they're always sold out okay i don't know why they make this so difficult to hold on they make this so difficult to get out and i want to show y'all okay, i'm just gonna have to like rip it open it's like so painful to do oh so pretty oh my gosh like the chokehold that this has had on me like pink little powders in the past year it just exploded everywhere hold on i gotta use back caramel this doesn't do it just like, literally. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. I love her. Okay, I'm going to make a video in a little bit. Because I'm going to go out and hang out with my friends tonight. <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. um, So yeah, I'm going to make a video using all of these. And a few other products that I've gotten that are like kind of new. So, stay tuned. Bye.
guys, here's a haul of all the things that I got from Sephora. Again, first things first, I got the Makeup by Mario, um, color dark, just like my ass. And I got the Patrick Ta, what is it called? Four Face 3, that's what it's called, but it's the blush brush. That rhymes, I love it! Then I got three Summer Fridays. Brown sugar, peach, cherry, and sugar. Or pink sugar, cherry. And then I got two of the same. Shade Dreamy and Shade Rosy. My best friend just came in. Say hi, best friend. Hi, best friend. Hi, best friend. I got a Dior lipstick. Berry! The Benefit eyebrow stuff because I need new eyebrow stuff. I got the Benetint. You guys know that it's like a blush thing. It used to be used for nipples. For strippers. What do you mean? Like for nipples. nipples. Two Rare Beauties. It came in like a little thing. Two Rare Beauties. It's a blush. This one is Believe. <laughs> and this one is Hope. I also got... This lip glow in the shade black. I got three Laneige. These are the peppermint, and this one is the regular one. Why are you breathing so loud? Oh my Shut God, up! Shit. And I got the glow sunny drops. It's in um, the lip stuff. I Dyson. Then I got this Christian Dior. Then I got this to try out. I know one size is really good. I want to get their regular powder, but I got their very pink. Then a milk blush. I thought this color was very enticing and intriguing. My... Color Sepia from last time, because I just stock up, I guess. And I have this new blush. It's berry. It's and last but not least, my favorite thing that I got today, $80. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Magic Serum from Sephora. Go away. Thank you for watching. That was so ah! Get the fuck off me. Hey, y'all. I'm back. You already know what time it is. I went to the Sephora sale yesterday and picked up a whole lot of mess all right let's get into it first i got the amica soul food hair mask i've already been using this love it it smells really good like luxurious smelling and it leaves your hair feeling really soft and nice then i got the kosas plump and juicy vegan collagen spray on serum to try this was literally the last one left so, must be good. But it smells kind of funny. So, I don't know. I hope it don't break me out or nothing. Um, then I got Rare Beauty's um, Setting Spray. Because I've been using a ColourPop one. I don't think it's really been doing anything. Because I didn't really know nothing about setting sprays. Then I got the Wow Pop and Lock um, Gloss Finish for your hair. And it's got like little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a little like glitter in it. That stuff smells really good too. Then I got another Rare Beauty product. It is her primer. It's the like glittery one, like the glow one. I already have her prime diffuser one that I like, so I'll pair these together. Um, I already tried this out, but it's the Beauty Blender brand of their powder puff, and it feels so nice you really need to go get one if you're not out of stock because there was literally one left after i grabbed that one um then i got the caudalie beauty elixir i got that mini size i try i really like it so far it smells really good i only used it one time so far, but i just like the smell then i got the makeup forever hd um matte velvet powder foundation looks like this it's really nice um it's in the shade i think 1r12 that's what it says right there anyways then i got i already tried this one on too but it's the makeup by mario his new lip stuff it's in the shade cool pink this one's really pretty too But I got the Glow Recipe um, Pore Smooth Blur Drops. It's like a little packaging. Cute. Alright, I'm running out of time. We're going to have to go to part two. Bye.
guys, it's Sephora haul time. We haven't done one of these in a while, but we got some goods. So the first thing I have here is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream in the 62. I have it in the big one. Here it is, but there is no way this is going to fit in my purse. I don't want to take it anywhere because I love the scent. So we got a mini one. Moving on, we have two Touchland hand sanitizer in rainwater. I love this scent. I've had this. I've repurchased this a couple of times and I love it. Next thing we have here is the Tower 28 SOS Parade because I am running out of my low recipe mist. So I am going to try to use this. Another repurchase we have here, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder because I am running out of my okay I can't get it out be careful so so pretty here is my old one it's literally like almost done as you can see I just realized most of these are repurchased because they're just that good my first time trying the way hair mask I got the fine to medium hair because as you can see my hair isn't that much I smelled it already so good so good moving on we have another way stuff this conditioner is a repurchase for me I decided to get this one because it has the detox shampoo and i've heard that you're supposed to like detox your hair at least once a month it smells really good as well and here's my favorite leave-in conditioner i love this i've repurchased this like four or five times already and i cannot go a day without without this up next this is also my first time trying this this is the k skin lip balm with spf 30 because i realized you're supposed to be putting spf on your lips so i decided to get this one from sephora and it's only like 14 dollars up next we got the viral popular she say she say she lash curler i've heard so many people loving this so i decided to get it because my tart lash curler is broken so i decided to get this one next this is the sephora the plumping thing i've tried it once it's really good i like it last but not the least i got my birthday gift thing my birthday was like three four months ago i forgot to get and i just went there and asked they gave it to me and i got the white one because i love white we got here the leave-in conditioner obviously we have body cleanser a detox shampoo and then we have our melrose place oud the parfum live love way i have some things here like three samples we have the prada sample the sol de janeiro bum bum body oil and summer friday's body or friday skin tint so this is everything you guys thank you so so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye so for a haul me and my mom spent like 500 dollars yesterday so i'm gonna show you guys what all i got i didn't really get a ton of like new stuff a lot of it is just like restocks or different shades of stuff but i did get a couple of new things i don't remember who i saw talking about this but somebody said that the tower 28 like tinted sunscreen was good and i'm going to disney world at the end of the month so i thought this would be the perfect thing to get I got shade 30. I also saw somebody on TikTok talking about this. It's the Moroccan oil fragrance mist for hair and body. And I love the way Moroccan oil stuff smells. So I just got the mini to try and I already love it. I've been using it all day. It's been in my little travel bag. I'm definitely going to have to get the full size. It smells so good. My boyfriend is sitting right here and he's making me laugh because he thinks it's so funny when I film. Also for Disney World, we just got little mini Moroccan oil shampoos because we're going on a plane. So we can't take a bunch of liquids. It would not be a support trip if I didn't get a restock slash new shades of my Tower 28 concealer that I'm obsessed with. I got me two new shades and then I got my mom the shade four that I always use in my video. This is shade five, which is in the middle of the two shades that I have. And I just think it's going to be like a really good addition to have. And then I got this super light shade. This is shade two. They also have letters that go with them, but I just like to say like the shade number. Me and my mom also got matching Patrick Ta eyebrow gels. I'm almost out of my big ones. So I got a restock and she wanted to try it because she loves everything I recommend. This is an ultra rare find because I literally never like see this in stock at the Sephora I go to in Nashville. It's the one in Green Hills, if you know what that is. They had the mini limitless mascara and the full size and this is the mascara i've been on it's what i have on today and i fell back in love with it so i got the mini for disney and then this just to restock because the one thing i hate about it is it always dries out like pretty quickly and it's really annoying especially because it's never in stock because it's the best they had one left of my medium brown kosas brow pop nano and i'm so upset because i was gonna get two these i go through so quickly because i do my brows all the time it's also sold out online and on kosas website like everywhere so if anybody knows where i can find the shade medium brown please let me know stop selling out my brow pencil i got a mini glowy super gel from say in the shade star glow for the disney trip because i use this every single day sephora was actually super stocked this time i don't know why we just got lucky but they had the mini one sizes so this is gonna go on the plane with me to disney especially because we'll be like like out of the house from like 
the crack of dawn till midnight so we need this they had my wherever walnut in stock and this is going to be my backup and then they also had up and down tan which i've never seen anybody talk about but i'm excited to try it looks a little bit more purpley which i usually like on my lips they had one left that i saw the summer friday's lip butter balm in the shade pink sugar this is my favorite it's literally in my purse that i'm filming on top of right now I love this shade. When it first came out, I ordered it online and I haven't been able to find it since. So I'm so glad I got a restock. And a lot of good things about this powder. It's the Givenchy Prisme Libre in the shade 3 Voile Rose. Voile Rose. I have a feeling that it's going to be overhyped and not as good as the Huda Beauty. But, but I couldn't find the mini Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom because they were literally sold out. And like I went to Sephora and there was not a Huda section. So I don't know what that was about. We're going to try this and take this with me on the plane and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I finally got a little bit more of a chill shade in the Tower 28 lip gloss in the shade Coconut, I think. It's just a super pretty pink shade and I literally am so excited because I love these lip glosses, you guys know. I'm bringing this on the plane with me to Florida when we go to Disney. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've never had the mini of it. I've always bought the big size, so I'm actually kind of excited to see how this looks. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. That is so cute and little. The last thing I got was this Kerastase Resistance Mask Force Architecture Hair Mask for damaged hair because if you didn't notice, I dyed my hair just like the money pieces are super, super bright. So to keep my hair healthy and keep it from breaking off i had to get a good hair mask i love you guys bye i just spent 357 dollars at sephora so let's do a haul i'm gonna start off by saying i'm not normally a 300 plus sephora girly i'm usually like a hundred if that and that's pushing it but my skin's been breaking out we've been dry there's some new things i wanted to try so i I went a little crazy. To start, I have been dying to get my hands on the House Labs. That's Lady Gaga's brand. Dry Clone Skin Tech Foundation. I got the shade Light Cool, but it actually doesn't look cool at all, which is strange. But I saw my girl Rachel using it, and anything she tries, I must try also. And I'm late to the party on this one. These are the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Bronzing Drops. I see everyone and their mother using these, so I needed to jump on the bang wagon. Um... But I don't know how I'm going to feel about them. I see myself as like a clean girl, like no makeup, gelled brows, that's it. But I have acne, so it's just like, it doesn't make me feel good about myself. And I like feeling good about myself, you know? So I'll keep you posted on that one. I got a bunch of skincare. This is the Paula's Choice Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. It has benzoyl peroxide in it. I have not used benzoyl peroxide since I was like 18 years old and I'm 27. But I love Polish Choice, and I just ran out of the 2% BHA, so I'm like, you know what, let me try this, because I remember when I was a teenager, and I had bad skin, benzoyl peroxide, anything would clear it up, so we're giving her a chance. If you have any other products that you, like, swear by for pimples, let me know. Then, I also got the new Fenty Skin Fat Water. This is the hydrating one, though. In the fall, my skin dramatically changes every single year. I start breaking out and I get so dry. I've been so flaky around my nose and on my forehead, which usually doesn't happen. So your girl is dry. So I'm hoping this little milky concoction will help with that. I'm also a very dry under eye girl, which if you're getting older like me and you have fine lines, that like just makes them worse. So the guy at Sephora actually recommended this one, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. And I've tried their lotions before and they're really nice. So I'm super excited about this. But you look pricey. A few weeks ago, I tried the mini of the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. And it was to die for. So since I'm really dry, I'm like, I'm just going to buy the full size. I also always see everyone talking about the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. So we're going to try that too because we're on our clean girl journey. I got a new setting powder. This is the Kosas Cloud Set. Everyone always says really good things about it. And it's people who have beautiful skin. So I'm like, let me try it. And I picked up another one of these Tarte Lip Balms. I'm obsessed with them. This is in the shade Rose. But let me know if you guys want like a tutorial of everything new on the face. Let's do a massive Sephora haul. Obviously, this bag is jam-packed, so we're going to try and get through it in one take, but if not, go to part two. Okay, I'm going to try and get through this whole bag without rambling and explaining everything too much, so we're just going to start right now. So, first off, I have the Refi set. It's the Lip Sculpt, Lip Gloss, and the Blush in Cherry. Um, I'm sure you have seen this before. I don't know. I really wanted to try it out. It looks really pretty, so we got it. Next up is the Vegamore Grow Brow Serum. This is just a restock of something that I already have. I've been using this for like a month or so. I use it on my brows, which it's intended for, and it does work. It took like two weeks to notice growth, but I also use it on my eyelashes on the top and bottom because I mean, it's like a facial hair growth serum. So 
I just assume you can use it on your eyes too. It doesn't say that. They do have a lash serum, which that's cool, but I just don't feel the need to buy both of them because it does the same thing and it does work on lashes. So a little pro tip if you don't want to buy both. <laughs> Next up in here, I keep getting these like with my orders. So I'm not really sure. I've never tried it before. It's the JVN Complete Air Dry Cream. I don't know. I've never tried it, but I guess I can try it next time I wash my hair and see what it does. All right, I also picked up one of these little reusable sponge cases from the Sephora collection. I, feel, I just feel like, like whenever I pack like a makeup bag or anything like that, I just feel like it's really gross to have like a beauty blender or a makeup sponge just like floating around in your makeup case, touching everything else. So I don't know why I've never had one of these before, but it makes a lot of sense and there's holes in it. So if it's wet, it won't get like gross and like moldy, you know? I'm not saying like it should because you shouldn't be leaving it in there that long, but you know what I mean, it does the job. All right, next up is the Pharmacy Green Clean. This is the makeup removing balm and I've already been using it for like the past day or two, which is why it's not in the box, but I love this stuff. This was a repurchase and I also ordered the Strawberry Shortcake one, which I think is limited edition, but I don't know. I just love this so much. You can have too many of them, but I don't know. It's really good at removing makeup and then when you go to wash your face afterwards, it just feels really clean and there's no makeup left on your face. Another repurchase, restock, is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, and I have the shade Fair Medium. I love this so much, and we don't really need to talk about it. You've seen it. You know it. Another repurchase is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have this one already. I've been using it for a few months now. I love it. It looks so nice on the skin. It's very hydrating, but not doesn't make like your face like slippery it feels like you're not wearing any makeup at all so i love this so much another hourglass product i have the vanish seamless finish concealer brush and i've always been the type of person to use my fingers or like a beauty blender to blend out concealer and i just see all the girlies using these brushes so I just figured why not try it out it seems really nice it's dense and i feel like because it's angled it could really get like under your eyes or like in these like little hard to reach creases you know so we're gonna try that out and i'm excited to use it another repurchase is the dermalogica intensive moisture balance moisturizer that's like a lot also again not in the packaging because i have been using this i did get it in the value size because i've repurchased the normal size maybe like five or six times. And I figured because it's on sale, I may as well get the bigger one because it's gonna be used. So I don't know what else to say about this one. Just get it. <laughs> Another makeup brush. This one is the Patrick Ta Dual Ended Blush Brush. And the whole reason why I picked this brush up, one, because I love Patrick Ta brushes. I have a few of them already. And I love the fact that a lot of them are dual ended, which is great because if you travel a lot or if you just don't want to have a lot of space taken up in your makeup case, it's really great. It's basically like having two brushes in one duh, dual ended. But the whole reason why I like this specifically is after I saw him apply blush on Alex Earl, he literally explained the whole way to use his blushes. And I have this one. It's in She's Giving. It's really bright, very pink. But... Ever since I saw him do it, I never apply blush the same way ever again. So you probably already have heard this, you've already seen it. But the whole point is to apply the powder blush first and then go in with the other end, it's more dense, and take the cream and put that on top of the powder, which I feel like breaks so many makeup rules, but it works. It literally brings the life back to your skin after applying all the powders and it just looks so nice. And I feel like double layering the blush makes it last literally forever because I feel like blush is the first makeup product to wear off on my face. So it's nice to do it like that and I'm excited to have this brush to use it with. All right, another repurchase restock is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser in the mini size. I love purchasing this in the small size because it's really nice if you travel a lot or if you just don't have a lot of space to just buy the little ones because you can just throw it into your bag. This one's really great for traveling also because it does remove makeup as well. So if you don't have makeup removing, makeup removing products with you, this does the job. So 
really great. I love it. Another repurchase, the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. Love this so much. I used to use the Benefit one, but I feel like that one gets like crusty on your brows. I don't know. I think it's kind of gross. It gets flaky. This one does not do that. And I feel like it really lays the brows down. It looks exactly like you just got a fresh brow lamination. So another repurchase and I will always repurchase this one. All right, this one's a new purchase for me. It's the YSL Lash Class Mascara in Uninhibited Brown. I've never tried a brown mascara before. I feel like I'm the type of person who buys a mascara and buys blackest black just because I do have light features. So logically, I feel like black mascara just really makes you have more contrast in your face. But after seeing other people talk about this mascara specifically, I had to buy it. I do have like green, blue eyes, I don't know. But this mascara, not only is it brown, but it has like a red undertone to it. It just really makes your eyes pop. So I don't know, if you have blue eyes, green eyes, I feel like it really just makes that color stand out. Even if you have brown eyes, I feel like it just really complements the color of your eyes. So definitely give this a try. All right, these little lip glosses here, I've been trying to get my hands on for like the last few weeks and every single time I go to order them, they're out of stock. So I finally got them. I do have these in the full size, but the whole reason why I wanted this little set is because the full size are so long, they don't fit in all of my bags when I go out. And I really like to have these in my purse to just touch up my lips throughout the night, especially, I don't know. When they get dry, these are really nice because it does add a little bit of color, but it puts the moisture back in your lips. So if you're out drinking, talking a lot, these are just great to have. And they're also super cute. Like, hello? I love them. They're coming with me everywhere I go. This is a new purchase for me. I've never tried this before. It's the K18 Bio, I don't know. It's a K18 hair mask. It's the leave-in molecular hair mask. So basically, I've never bought this before, but I have used it at my hair salon. I used it on my last time I went. I guess you just wash your hair like you normally do. And then instead of using conditioner, you put this in and you leave it in and you don't rinse it out. And you're supposed to use it like four washes in a row and then use it as maintenance after that. So obviously being blonde, uh, it's broken, it's dead. So I'm gonna do everything I can to make it come back to life. All right, another new purchase for me is the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And this is the one that's in Cherry Blossom. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's super cute, it's pink. It's really nice for putting under your eyes for brightening and it smells so good. I have this in the Banana Bread and Pound Cake also and I love these so much. I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna go through these really quick. Merit Minimalist, Merit Minimalist uh foundation stick complexion stick i love this for just putting on spots you need to cover really quick also hourglass concealer love this got it in a mini size can't go wrong glossier you mini rollerball perfume love this it smells so good and different on everybody so perfect to throw in your bag and lastly the moroccan oil light tones dry shampoo love this for being blonde especially if you need to get your hair done soon if you have any roots spray this in literally makes your hair look like you just got fresh highlights so little hack if you don't know you already know that made no sense but literally it's purple tinted so if you're a blonde you need this they also make it in the dark tones hope you guys like this bye I've been working on healing my inner child and today i went and splurged a bit at the sephora sale let me show you what i got the receipt is long, so you know I went off a little bit. Growing up, I never had any of the super cool products, and so now I love having a super cute makeup routine and also having all the cute lippies in my purse. I got some staples, and I got some new things that I've been wanting to try out. Every time I see Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm, I have to get one no matter what color because they end up selling out, and then it takes forever for them to come back. Today, I got Vanilla Beige, and I'm wearing it right now. Another tried and true is the Tower 28 Rescue Spray. I swear I haven't broken out since I started using this product. I realized I would get more breakouts the more I went to the gym. I think it was just sweaty, bacteria, and this helps knock that all in the butt. This one's hard to justify. It's just a fun way of putting hand sanitizer on it. It's something cute in my purse. Mind you, these items were on sale, okay?
So if you're gonna splurge, now's the time to do it. Okay, this is a fun pickup. It is always out of stock, but it is the Fenty Skin Blemish Defeater. You put it on your acne spots before you put on your makeup and it kind of protects your acne from the makeup. Hopefully I don't have to try this out soon because that means I have a pimple, but I am excited to try it out when I need it. I swear everybody on TikTok uses the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. And the big one's kind of pricey, so I'm starting off small and we'll see if I like it. I had to get the Huda Beauty Powder. Every girl that wears this, their makeup looks chef's kiss flawless. I got it in the shade Cupcake. This is one of those Alex Earl made me do it, but I got the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo in She's Bronzed. I'm excited to use it. I wanted the brush, but they were sold out. Whenever I see a girl with fire highlight, I ask her what she's wearing, and it's usually this Rare Beauty Positive Light Touch so, 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 in Enlighten. It looks really pretty, it swatched really nice. I can't wait to try her out. I love a little glowy look. Every Refi product that I've tried has been a hit, so I ended up just getting the lip gloss and clear. This was kind of one of those last minute pickups. On the same train as last minute pickups, I got the new House Labs lip oil, again in clear, but I got the mini size. And then since I was big baller in there spending way too much money, I was able to pick out a little sample and I got the First Aid Beauty face cleanser. And that's my Sephora sale haul. Whole time. Okay, so I have a pretty big Sephora bag right here. So that means pretty big Sephora haul. So let's just get into it. And also ignore how messy my room is because I just got back from a trip, but I got a bunch of stuff from Sephora. So let's just get started. So the first thing is this Purology. Um, is this the shampoo? Okay, conditioner. And also, just to preface, I did not buy this all at once. I bought this over like four different trips, but I only bought a couple things at a time. So I wanted to get all the stuff and then make one big haul because I feel like that's more entertaining. And then the next thing is the Summer Fridays Skin Tint. Heard it was really good, so I'm really excited to try that. The next thing is the Charlotte Tilbury Blush Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. And then the next thing is the Rare Beauty Contour, no, Bronzer, sorry, stick in the shade Power Boost. Then the next thing, oh, anyways, is the Hoola Bronzer Mini, but I did already open this because I bought it when I was on my trip and I needed to use it right then, so yeah, I already opened it. And then the next thing is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Sweet Mouth. And, okay, we're almost done. The next thing is the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Coconut. I love these. Those are, like, one of my favorite things. And the last thing is the Dior Concealer in the shade 1N. So, yeah, there's my pretty big Sephora haul. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And, yeah, that's all. Bye, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush cleaning all day but a sephora package was dropped off earlier and i haven't had a chance to open it definitely can't wait till the morning let's see what we got any other mums kind of feel like a maid cleaning boys bathrooms this will make the day great little recipe plump plump actually haven't tried this one yet love this one though the niacinamide the dew drops so this should be good next we got the rare beauty soft pinch blush brush i love the rare beauty brushes yeah, I love it. So we got the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Soft Sculpt sa Shaping Stick. I'm Twister, try saying that like 10 times over. This in a shade lighter, like the lightest one. I have the light medium as well, but I figured I wanted it a little bit lighter. It looks like the exact same, but uh, it's a little bit lighter. Next up, we got the Patrick Ta Four Brows One. Just this little thing. Figured I needed a new one. More Makeup by Mario. Out of anything that I've tried, the Soft Sculpt Makeup by Mario line is the best. Just peachy. I love these two, but the peach one is definitely peach. Just peachy. I accidentally got two of the light medium and apparently a light. I didn't know I ordered three of these, but hey, the more the merrier. We're not quite done. It'd be weird for me to do my makeup at 10, 11 at night just to use this stuff. Ooh, a new brow pencil in black brown. Whoops. What the heck? There's plastic on this thing. I probably need to go to bed. <laughs> It's been a long day. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I have never used any setting spray before. All these bitches on TikTok use setting spray. So hey, let's try the setting spray. And I haven't tried this one yet. It's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfecture. I don't know, it looked pretty. Did you mean to use it? I clearly need to go to bed. Hit that follow and we'll try this stuff tomorrow. Good night.
I went on a massive Sephora haul and let's go through everything I got. Starting off with the smaller bag. Starting off, I got the Laneige limited edition gift set that comes with a lippy and their limited edition peppermint um, lip mask. All right, next is actually two items, two more from Laneige. So I got their full-size lip mask in the shade um, can uh, Sweet Candy and Caramel Apple. Next is a lot of Glow Recipe. Starting off with one of the gift sets from Glow Recipe, I got their new um, Glow Recipe Dew uh, skin, dewy skin goals. So it comes with a full size toner, dew drops, and their moisturizer. And I'm so excited to try this. Next, I got the Glow Recipe Plum Hydration Heroes that comes with their moisturizer and one of their lip balm things. So I'm super excited to try this again. I love Glow Recipe. I, if you guys see this, I love you. Please, I want to work with you. Next is the Glow Recipe uh, Berry Gentle Cleanser. Now I'm just gonna grab a couple more. So I got the Glow Recipe Blur Drops and their uh, avocado like recovery serum with the retinol. I'm super excited to try this because I need it for my skin and I've heard it does wonders. And then I got their little mini moisturizer. Lastly, I got their, um, I got the Glow Recipe like a uh, papaya uh, cleansing balm and I heard this is really good for just getting all your makeup off and it soothes your skin and everything so I can't wait to try it. Part 2 if you want to see the rest of my Sephora haul. stops i have a sephora haul let's open what we got absolute best part about packages is i never remember what i ordered like ever so this is just as much a surprise to me as it is to you i really want to try to soak this up while i'm taking this stuff out because as soon as i've unpackaged this i'm gonna be depressed again first of all i got these two little samples i got the dermalogica like daily milk foliant because i actually have wanted to try this so i was excited it was a sample and then i got the peter thomas roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream whatever you get two free so why not i'm so excited i literally forgot i ordered this stuff and now i am so pumped so the first thing i got was the ysl candy glaze the like clear one i was going back and forth on this for so long because it's literally like 40 dollars. it is a 40 dollar basically lipstick lip gloss stick oh packaging ma'am ma'am okay that's what it looks like it's just like the clear one i think oh let's swatch it 
Yes! I paid $40 for nothing! No, but seriously, I think this is gonna be so pretty just on top of like anything. And then if I like this, I'm gonna get the nude glow one. I just really wanted to try the clear one because clear goes with everything. I finally got another Patrick Ta blush. This is the shade She's That Girl. I've just been seeing it everywhere and it looks so pretty. So I finally decided to get another one because I have the shade She's Blushing and it's stunning, but it's more of a summer color for me. So let's see. <gasps> When I tell you makeup gives me such a rush, it gives me such a rush. Okay, should we swatch? Let's swatch. So, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be my everyday blush. I literally am obsessed. I ordered another makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. Here's my first one that I got last year. This is a limited edition palette. I don't know why he does that to us. But I got another one from his website, so I figured I would just throw it in here because why not? And I think they changed the packaging this year, so let's see. Obviously, mine's a little bit dirtier, but they definitely changed the packaging. I don't know if you can tell, but like this has like that there, and that's not on this. And then this, it's just a little bit different, and this one's a little bit smaller just in like size comparison. Is it? Maybe not. I don't know, but you can obviously tell there are some differences. I think they just like made the packaging more sleek, but I am so excited to have a new one. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette I've ever owned. Finally picked up the Refi Cream Bronzer in the shade Sand because a girl I used to watch on TikTok, I can't remember her name. She goes to Ole Miss and she's a makeup artist. But anyways, she talks about this bronzer all the time. She uses this shade Tan, but I got like a winter color and I'm just so excited. She said such good things. So I wanted to try a new cream bronzer as if I don't already have enough. Refi kills it with their packaging. It is literally everything to me. Look at that bronzer color. Hold on, hold on. Okay, it's definitely very pale, but this is going to be perfect for like not messing up because sometimes I get really heavy handed with my bronzer in the winter and this is the perfect winter color. Okay, I'm obsessed. Went ahead and got another shade of my Tower 28 Swipe Serum Concealer. This is shade 4.0. I usually use 6.0, but when I got it in my last Sephora haul, it was a little bit dark for me being pale. So I just got this one to have a little bit more of a brightening formula color of this because I love the formula but that color just isn't gonna work all the time yep look at this so pretty perfect shade I saved the best for last I just bought the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I have seen nobody talk about this but it really caught my eye because it has the shade Space Cowboy in it which I wanted to buy anyways but it's literally like a palette of just shimmers so I'm hoping it's not broken because I saw in some reviews that they it comes broken mine is not mine is not look Moment of silence. I am in awe. We have to swat. That's Star Cowgirl. Obsessed. Space Cowboy. I've always wanted to buy this, but I just couldn't justify spending just $20 on one eyeshadow. So the fact that there's four of these and they're like the perfect shimmer shades is exactly what I needed from Urban Decay. And I haven't bought something from Urban Decay in years. This is Wild Dipper Rides again. I, I'm going to throw up. And then that one is Cosmic Space Dust. I honestly probably won't use that one. But these three are literally knocking my socks off. My socks are actually down the street right now. They are, they've run away. They've literally run away by how good this is. And the packaging is just so cute. I cannot wait to travel with this. That's all for the haul. I'm literally so excited to play around with this makeup. I want to go take cute little aesthetic pictures of it right now. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's that time of the month again. And no, I don't mean my period. It's my Sephora October gratis haul. Let's unbag it. So listen, my gratis bag for September last month got canceled. And it wasn't just me. It was a few other people that were in my area, like all the full-time beauty advisors. So I wasn't able to record a September gratis haul. I did see a few people asking for it, but I didn't have a bag of gratis to unbag. So, you know, I'm not too salty about it. I've been receiving so much PR and I'm kind of overwhelmed right now with all the products that I have. But, you know, there were a few items that I wanted in that bag and I didn't get it. But, you know, that's okay. But I have my October one. Enough of me rambling. Let's unbag this bitch. The first item I see is this Vanessa Myrick's Grand Work to Funny Neutrals palette. I do already have this one, so I might give this away to one of my family members but yes the next item is this <gasps> dolce gabbana the devotion the new devotion fragrance if you guys have not seen this this really looks so pretty the bottle has like a heart on the front i'm about to spray this in a little bit okay i'm definitely excited for this next item these peace out retinol eye patches i heard i've been hearing really good things about these so i'm gonna have to try these out as well i also got the peace out acne dots this comes with a 20 pack i probably will not be using this actually i might because i have been breaking out a little bit my forehead so actually i might use these this time i got the pharmacy makeup melting balm i love this stuff it removes all the makeup so thank you i got another one the next item is this Hidden Beauty the Easy Bake powder. I already did a review on this. I 
was not a fan so i'm probably gonna i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do with this honestly the next item is the laneige water bank moisturizer i've tried this a long time ago so i'll probably keep it um i'm not sure where i'm really gonna put it because my skincare drawers are full as fuck right now i got the dry bar prep rally the um prime and prep detangler i got a makeup by mario concealer which i already have all of the other colors whenever he sent them to me in pr so now i have an extra one the next item is this Soleil to Jours. It looks like it is an SPF setting spray, which I actually really like SPF setting sprays because you can easily reapply this over your makeup um, every two hours if you need to, so thank you. The next item is this Hourglass Concealer. I do like the coverage that this gives, but I do not like the smell. It has a very weird smell, but I do like how it looks on the skin. I got this Kosas Cloud Set um, Micro Powder. I got the shade Airy. This Paula's Choice Moisturizer. I actually just also got this in PR, so I'll probably give this one to my family members. This mini Velospa candle. I'll probably light this up right now. This is in the scent Noble for Garland. I got this Grande Brow Serum. I have been using the last serum. I've been loving it. I got this Freck Beauty Soft Blur Lipstick and this Urban Decay Eyeliner. This is in the shade Zero, just like a black liner. I got this Kali Ray Lip and Cheek um, kind of blush, lippy kind of deal. Mm, that's like a really pretty color. I might use that on my lips whenever I do my makeup next. And last but not least, the last two items. I got this Amy Cole concealer and a little mini by the fireplace fragrance. I'm probably gonna give this to my grandma because she loves this scent so much. So I'm just gonna give this to her. And that was everything I got in this October gratis bag. I think I'm most excited about this Dolce Gabbana devotion fragrance. I've smelled it in store. It kind of smells like an orange blossom kind of smell, but I think I'm also mainly just obsessed with the bottle. Just so looks so pretty and i can't wait to try it i hope you all did enjoy this october goddess haul let me know if you have tried out any of these products and what you think about them or if you are gonna buy them also let me know as well um love you guys and i'll catch you all in the next video bye for a haul i have a challenge i need to get all the viral products especially the say super glow gel by the end of the week i'm gonna show you guys if i actually ended up getting it today okay but the first thing i'm gonna start with is the Dior blush, which has been really popular lately. It's in the shade Cherry, which is a really pretty shade. It had this one and one more, and after that, they were all gone, so it's really pretty. It looks so cool. And just so you know, Sephora is literally all that I spend on right now, so all my money goes to Sephora. I'm not buying anything else. But the next thing I got from Dior is the Dior lip oil. It's also in the shade Cherry, so these two things are gonna match. Like, yes, it was expensive, but I think it's worth it. Like, I even want to try it on right now. So good. Then I got something from Glow Recipe, which is this lip plumper. And honestly, look at the results. They seem promising. I love Glow Recipe. I just never tried their lip plumper. It looks like it's actually going to work. I trust Glow Recipe. Okay, so it's just this like lip plumper container. Can't wait to use it. Then I finally got the Tower 28 um, cream. I have a set now. I have the spray, the serum, and the cream. It's the daily recovery cream. Everyone loves this, and I think I'm going to love it too. Ooh, next, I'm super excited for this is the Patrick Ta bronzer that is one of the best bronzers out there. I love Patrick Ta. I got their blush recently. It has two parts to it, cream bronzer and the powdered one. This is in the shade She Sculpted Medium. Another thing from Patrick Ta is the lipstick. I'm really excited for this one because it looked so good on the tester when I tried it on. In the shade, oh, she's single. Look how pretty this is. Amazing. Then I had to get this super goop glow sunscreen because I'm out of my sunscreen and sunscreen is the most important part of skincare. In the shade Golden Hour, so it like gives you that golden look which I'm vibing. Then I had to get the dry shampoo because, you know, we all have those days we need a dry shampoo. Amika one is the most popular dry shampoo out there. This is one of my favorite things. This is the Hourglass Blush. Looks amazing. Look at it. You mix it and it gives you this perfect shade. So cool. It's gorgeous. And it was in a shade Luminous Flush. I have to hurry up. This is the Dior Backstage Concealer because I needed a normal concealer. I don't have like a good concealer that covers 
all my dark circles under the eyes. It says it's in the shade 2N. And I got something from Rare Beauty, which is this just black simple mascara because I needed a mascara. The popular Elia mascara was sold out, so I had to go with the Rare Beauty. And I think this one's going to work pretty well too. And they gave me these like clips. I'm going to be using this in my Get Ready With Me's. And the thing we've all been waiting for... The Stay Super Glowy Gel, but it's not the one that I'm looking for. It's in the shade Star Glow, and the one everyone wants is in the shade Sun Glow, so unfortunately, I didn't get it this time. But I have a goal. I need to get it by the end of the week. You guys know I'm not giving up. Just a bit lighter. Doesn't give you that bronze look. So I'm going to be on the hunt for the rest of the week, and I need to complete this challenge, so stay tuned. Okay. I have these Lululemon pants that I meant to return like two months ago and I just didn't. So hopefully they still even take returns, but I just don't think I'm going to wear the color as much as I thought I would when I bought them and I bought them in the wrong size also. So I'm going to return them and then hopefully get something else because basically if I return it, the thing I get it's just gonna be free because I bought that like months ago so that money is already like gone so if I get something new it will be like just a free gift you know that's how my brain works but let's go okay I got the soft stream ribbed half zip I will put in a clip of it here but Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing I've literally ever seen. It's so flattering and I feel like I'm going to wear this like literally every day. So I'm so glad I got it. Bye. Hey guys, let's do a Lululemon haul. So I have about 30 Lululemon packages to open. I randomly chose six of them. So I'm going to open up these with you guys. I have no idea what's in any of these. But if you guys want to shop anything that I'm about to open or anything from Lululemon, the link's in my bio. First up, uh, ooh, these are the new like Jersey relaxed fit lounge shorts. I just thought these were so interesting and I've been really into like comfy shorts recently and I'm gonna do like a try on video tomorrow with all of this stuff. So stay tuned. I get, I got size four. I'm not sure how they will fit. I get four for like hottie hops, ugh, hottie hots, I can't talk, and speed ups, but they are so soft. Oh my gosh. Next up, this is the Ribbed Align Tank in Graphite Gray. I absolutely love the Ribbed Align Tanks, and I believe this was a markdown find, and I feel like it'll have enough gray tops, and this will match with everything. Okay, this package actually has a few things. First up is the Wonder Train Mesh Panel Tank Top. I got this in Atomic Purple in store, and I loved it, so I'm so glad that I ordered it in black. It's literally so cute with the mesh detailing, and I love it this could be good for dance or just wearing out next is a classic fit cotton blend t-shirt in sonic pink you guys know i'm the sonic pink girly i can never have too much sonic pink i believe this was a markdown find so i was like how do i not have this already so we got it and last up for that package another markdown find this is the pleat to street skirt in black black skirts are literally my favorite thing ever you can match any shirt to it literally and i just think this skirt is so cute i love the pleated detail this package is either a sweatshirt or a lot of items it's heavy okay there is the word mark atomic purple everywhere belt bag i think the little lemon logos all over it are so cute and i actually don't have any purple belt bags so i'm really excited about this and here we have the scuba oversized hooded half zip and sonic pink i have the funnel neck half zip and sonic pink and then i have the hooded full zip but this is the first time they ever did the hooded half zip so i'm gonna have three sonic pink scubas now but they're all different so again sonic pink situation gotta have all the sonic pink and scubas are so you can clearly see, and there's a whole three more stacks are literally my favorite. And this package we have, this just came out last week. This is the new fleece belt bag in pink mist. I had the fleece belt bags from last year, but it is brand new in the pink mist this year. I think this color is beautiful, and I love the gold detailing on the zipper and all the metal. And I'm just so excited to use this in the winter. Okay, last package for this video. Another belt bag. Oh my gosh, this is the new Aero Blue belt bag. This is also still in storage, this one. I saw it the other day. I am a belt bag fanatic, and this color is stunning. I'm so excited to wear and use everything that I just opened. I'll do a try and haul tomorrow, and if you guys want to shop anything, the link's in my bio for Lululemon.